especially if he likes to fight. And I mean, just the way he just, you know, entered the cage, circled around, he's got a smile on his face. He looks like he's happy to be here. He's a, he's a, he's a 15 fight veteran, and he just looks, yeah, man, he looks excited to be here. I mean, what, what did you say, he's like 23? 23 years old? I don't know, I mean, I, I, I would put him, I'd put him early 20s. I like him already because he got legs like mine. You see his little skinny legs with them knobby knees. I got legs just like that. From American Top Team, Coconut Creek, Florida, this is Marcelo El Marito Castaneda. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 134 pounds with a record of eight wins and seven defeats. From Bulldog Boxing, Jacksonville, Florida, this is Rock, the Haitian sensation, Oh, Marcel. man. He went there. I like the name. He went there. And uh, also, I don't know anything about Bulldog Boxing except for Rock Merkel, but based on what I've seen out of him, if I was ever in Jacksonville, I could check him out, man. I'm telling you, you're for a treat, Dean. Oh, really? This is yeah. going to be a good fight. It's going to be a good fight. Bo both these guys are hungry, and uh, aggr aggressiveness is turned up to 100. Aggression, whatever. Nice low stance. He's yeah. worried about the takedown from Casanata. I just, I just noticed that, and I like the way he's standing. You know, he's leading with the jab. He's standing low. He looks to, he looks very aware. Lands a nice combination. Yeah, Casanata is, is checking his mouthpiece after that one already. I, I think he knows he wants to stand with Casanata. I don't think that he thinks Casanata will stand with him, but Casanata can strike. Nice one, two there, counter. Casanata, yeah, I would say that Myrtle's, you know, wants this on the feet for sure. But one thing I'm going to say about Casanata is that it, there's nothing that Myrtle's going to do that's going to surprise Casanata. I mean, Ca Casanata's in the room daily with the pro team at nice ATT. Nice single leg snatch there. And these guys are allowed to ground and pound, but not knee to the head. Casanata back to his feet already. That's what the problem is. If he wants to fight. He's asking what the problem is. That wasn't a stoppage. He stopped at the warning. Casanata was saying no. Yeah, you're not going to shake. Uh, I mean, he's, 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 he's also 8-0. Eight, no. eight guys that stood in front of Casanata, he's beat them too. And he trains with, as you said, some of the baddest. He's in the room with some of the baddest guys in the, in, in the, in the world. Yeah, up kicks are legal. Merkel there it goes. This ground. is what we came to see. That ground and pound on the, on the floor. Yeah. And Myrtle felt some, maybe he felt a little danger. Uh, Casanata getting on that single leg, he just cut bait and backed off. Go back to the, go back to the neutral position here. That was a beautiful single leg too. Casanata didn't take advantage of that position. You know, especially he took him down up against the fence. He yeah, should have nice smashed pass. him into the fence. There it goes oh, again. He's here with it again. Same, r runs the pipe the same way. But Myrtle just got those up kicks working. Nice stand up there from Myrtle. You know what I think the biggest difference in this fight is, Blake, is the, the body types, which is giving Castaneda the biggest problems. That right. length of Murtho and his athleticism, he's just so hard to keep hold of, so hard to get inside on. He yeah. can't really find range to punch him. He's, right. foul, he's foul, foul range with a single leg, but just his athleticism won't allow Castaneda to keep him down. Right. And then, and then once Castanada takes him down, he immediately just goes foot in the hip and starts pushing away as hard as he can to make distance and get back up. He's making it hard for Castanada to get on him anywhere. Clinch, feet, ground, anywhere. Yeah, he, he's, I mean, he's doing, he's successful with the single leg, but because he hasn't controlled on the ground, he's gonna have to switch up his, his, uh, his takedown attack. My yeah. opinion, he should go to a body lock so he can control the body on the way down. Yeah, but he might need to use that single leg to en enter into the body lock. He has good yeah. timing on that. Yeah, he just can't get inside on him. Yeah, but man, that was a hot round. Some real ground and pound to the head there. Nice striking. I say you got to give that one to Murthal, obviously. Yeah. Just, just, just despite the uh, the warning, no point taken for the knee to the head. They're still not allowed to the knee to the head as amateurs, even though they are allowed to ground and pound. 
But that was definitely a wake-up call. I mean, you know, as a, as a fighter, those are, even though you can't need it ahead, you still have to be kind of aware and be, be cautious because just like that knee, I don't think he intentionally right. meant to hurt him with that knee. But, I mean, he you still got caught it. with it, yeah. You still got caught with that knee. Yeah. You can't just take shots. Yeah. You have to protect yourself at all times from all and strikes, even those that might not be legal. All times. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Burstool Burstool. already, dancing, ready to go. He, and he, he got up before the bell sounded off and was doing the jig. Yeah, he was he, he was jucking and driving with 15 seconds left of his rest, and he was looking at Casanata trying to play head games with him. And he's winning his fight. I mean, he's definitely – I think he's opening the eyes of Casanata. Yeah. But this might be a situation where Casanata hasn't been challenged like this, you know, outside of the gym, and Myrtle is down to – like I said, man, I think, I think that the winner of this fight probably is going to be in the finals of this tournament. Actually, for sure, because this, uh, this is the... Uh, and there goes that knee again, just missed Castaneda's yeah. face. I mean, that could have been a point deduction, yeah. which would benefit Castaneda to get a point deduction. Honestly, for, yeah. And uh, I was 100% correct about the winner of this fight being in the finals, because this is a semifinal matchup. So by definition, they'll be in the finals. I forgot where we were in the brackets. Not, oh, he was inside there. Casanata's landed some leather of his own. I think he might have hurt Myrtle. Myrtle's getting distance. Casanata getting a little frustrated with the footwork of Myrtle. Yeah, he caught him with a good shot, but he just couldn't keep his hands on him. He yep. almost looks like, you know, when a football player is trying to get a fumble, yeah. the ball just keeps slipping out of his hands. That's what it's kind of following <laughs> him like that, yeah. Speaking of football players, he's kind of built like a small version of one. Like a yeah, Manny Gamburian, kind of. <laughs> Casanata, not, yeah, not, yeah. not Myrtle. Nice, but both guys landed well on that exchange, actually. Well, I, I'll tell you one thing. Um, Block the head kick. When Castaneda has able to put his hands on Myrtle. He's dinged him. Yeah, he's definitely did a lot of damage with his hands. Oh, they were used a shot entry knee to the body. C Castaneda's coming back now. Some nice footwork from the referee. I hope somebody besides me caught that. And I think Castaneda found what he needed Yep. as far as what he needs to win this fight. And I think he's going to do it standing up if he can just corner. He's found Myrtle. his timing. He's found a way in. He just has to land a couple more shots to do some damage. Good knee to the body from Casanata in the clinch a second ago. Yeah, if he can just track Myrtle down and you find him, find that range. Myrtle trying to attack from weird angles now. That's something that I, I, I also do. He's... He's dipping the lead, and he's throwing the, the upper jab, and he's trying to find another angle at Casanata besides the one-two now. Because Casanata's uh, countering pretty well, but so is Myrtle. These guys are dinging each other. But Casanata still, every time he puts his hands on the face of Myrtle, he definitely feels it. You yeah. see him, he whips, he whips his head back. Yeah. Not the same effect when Myrtle hits Casanata. Correct. Casanata's kind of just taking it and coming forward, whereas as Myrtle's having to make adjustments whenever he's getting hit by Casanata. Inside. Leg kick, right hand counter. Casanata has to be careful with the leg kicks. He, gotta, he has to realize that his legs are about as long as and Myrtle's, Myrtle's arms. arms. He's gonna be right at the end of a right hand. Yeah, and I wouldn't wanna trade one of those leg kicks for a straight right. No, not in the mouth. Very competitive round there. It's uh, one to one, I would say, if you were asking me. Yeah, I would I would have gave that last round to Castanada. I think that he controlled the cage. And that's there's something to be said about cage control and something that we don't really see often. But right. I thought he controlled the cage and had the bigger shots. Yeah, I would say that he, he definitely landed the better better shots within that exchange. He hurt Myrtle a little bit. Good knee to the body. Nice flurry. Just wasn't able to put him in a position, put Myrtle in a position where Casanata could get off the last couple to really, really make a statement. But got to give it to somebody. I'd give it to Casanata. And even more than anything else, he made Myrtle look as though he was running from him. I he, mean, even though Myrtle's excellent. using really good footwork, 
it's almost as if he's making him run from him, which is which we can clearly see from this distance. Yeah, a excellent point. And now and now he's taking control of the center again. Merkel's looking to circle and counter, and Casanata's, Casanata's talking to him a little bit, coming forward. He's trying to talk him into a brawl because that's how you deal with that distance. Cas and Merkel happy to take him down. Let's see what Casanata's guard looks like. I think that's going to be a point, and that's going to oh. kill him in this fight. That will. And and I saw it. I was right here. That I didn't see that hit him in the face. Did you? I don't know if it hit him in the face, but it was dangerous. And I'm not saying that was a bad call actually he, from the ref. I don't think he wasn't it, controlled enough in his strike. Yeah, he wasn't controlled enough, and it was it was a little too dangerous. And you have to understand that the the size difference. Oh. It, he may have just got That's his exactly, point back. <laughs> exactly what you were talking about. I would hate to see that be the deciding factor in the fight. The knee, the knee made the initial contact to the stomach, and then it went up to the head. Merkel's got a guillotine here. I don't think Castanaz going to have a problem shucking that unless he's hurt. That was a nice counter right hand by Merkel, and the referee did an excellent job of not getting in between them, calling it a knockdown because Castanaz are right back to his feet. Yeah. Cast yeah. not a nice and composed here. As I was saying before, the size difference, you have to be careful when your opponent is that much shorter to throw those type of knees. Aiming for the chest or not, you gotta understand that this guy's head comes up to where you would think his chest is. Right, correct. Myrtle. Casanata putting the pressure on all over the referee. The ref referee, couldn't get out of the way fast enough. The referee, had, you were talking about making it look like he's running. And the ref has somebody's mouthpiece. Who's he warning? Oh, back of the head warning to Casanata here. This is just such a, you, you called this. This could be fight of the night. Yeah, no surprise there. Because I saw Casanata in the gym, and I saw his last. I saw both these guys' first round fights, and when I found out they were matched up, I said, "Man, I, that could be the finals." I think Merkel trying to get that point back. So he's, he, he, he keeps saying back of the head. You know, I think these guys these guys need more time. I mean, this fight's going to run out, but I think these guys need more time. They need an extra need, round. Yeah, they need another round, or they needed five minutes. To fight uh, is Merkel cut there? I can't tell if that's the lights or what. And they break it for back of the head. Casanata to have his mouthpiece. I'm not sure what's going on now. Maybe I don't know if he's complaining about getting hit in the back of the head. See, these are things that, as a fighter, you can't complain about these things. No. To me, it's a sign of weakness. You should never complain about a foul. It's, that's, it's a fight. That's it's not your job to complain. Yeah. Your, your job is to fight. If he fouls you, the ref should step in. If the ref don't step in, you keep fighting. Yeah, I think Myrtle's looking to get that point back off that knee. He's, he's still saying it, but he's pointing to the top of his head when he's saying it. Top of the head's okay. To me... To me, that's like that's like a soccer player. A, that's a like dive. a soccer player. And Casanata's crashing on man. Merkel drops. Good takedown by Merkel. Into the half guard. Casanata trying to go full. Yes, he is. Wow. Ten seconds left. Casanata looking to finish, back up. And Casanata may have just won the fight. I'm going to say it like this. I don't know who won that fight, but I know who deserves to win that fight. I agree. And something that we had talked about earlier, where there's one guy who came to fight and the other guy came to participate in a sporting event. And he proved it when he was asking for a point deduction out loud while he was Without a doubt. I mean, because of the point deduction, I'd have to say that Castaneda is going to win that fight based off of the point deduction because. For sure. He I thought he at least won round. one round. 
and that point production is going to kill uh, Murtho. But I'm going to say that, you know, Castanet, he just deserved the win. I would give him the win based off the fact that I thought he deserved the win. He came to fight. Castanet, I mean, you know, Murtho, if I think if he came to win, he could have won the fight, you know, right. based off of his skills. He's doing push-ups now. He should have been, been trying harder to finish. Castanet doing a one-arm push-up. Yeah, Murtho, had he come to fight more, he could have he could have been more, you know, right. damaging. But I don't think he came to fight enough. Right. Now they're having a dance off in the center. Now they're shaking hands. It's all good. <laughs> push up contest, dance off. Hey, if you can do push ups, then you should have should have tried a little bit harder during, yeah, ain't that, that during, the, during the fight. And yeah, that, I'm always, uh, you know, flabbergasted when I see these guys in there doing push ups. At the decision, I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, why weren't you trying to yeah, finish? Yeah, you should have been using all that energy in the fight part. I would say though, the performance in the third, Casanata without the without the knee to the head, still, I still think you'd have pulled that one out. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to go with Casanata in that fight. I mean, it was a it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Yeah, it was a great fight. Dirty yeah. fight. It was a fight. It wasn't. Yeah, a, and but you know what? That's what everybody came to see. You know, and we they, came to they see got it, fight. man. Oh, no, no. But both guys look great. I'm glad that both guys will be back, coming back again to fight or going pro or whatever they may do. But I think you got to give the nod to Kevin. Mean, honestly, it's without question because of the point deduction. Yeah, with the point deduction, and I thought, uh, you know, I, I don't know if we agree on this, but I thought the point deduction was just. Just be, and the reason why is because he warned him about that knee earlier, and, he and then he, he gambled on taking a knee against a shorter fighter. Yeah, you can't gamble like that. You know, you gotta you gotta have good control and make sure you place that knee properly. No, I I, I agree. It's on it's on you to control the strike as much as you can. That's that's established within the rules. It's even said at the at the at the pro level. If you throw a punch at the ear towards the back of the head, and the guy turns his head, he's turning away. But you should have been in better control than to throw at the ear. You know. You oh, should, without a doubt. I you mean, should be throwing. And this is one of those situations where you're fighting a shorter guy. He's against the cage. He's not all the way back to his feet yet. I mean, he's, he's on yeah, his Yeah, I mean, feet. he was it on was his a, way back up, yeah. and you threw a knee. I mean, you really didn't have the target to throw a knee from that position, other than the head. Correct. Correct. Yeah, whether the guy was that much shorter, up. yeah, whether the guy was that much shorter or not. And we're going to go now to Evan Nine with the official decision in just a moment, I believe. I don't even see him. There. Fans, here's your decision. The winner by split decision out of the blue corner, Marcelo El Torito. Castaneda. And it was still a split decision despite the uh, the point deduction. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard for Mercer to look around like, oh, man, I can't believe I lost. But for him to make up a point deduction and that's the close of a fight, you, can you know, you can't really be surprised by that. Right. For a very special offer if you bring it in to Phil's Auto Clinic. I mean, no doubt about it, Mercer fought. I mean, he, he fought a know, good he, fight. He fought yeah. a good fight. Not one that he looked like he wanted to to hurt, you know. Hurt Castaneda, but in I mean, the first round, in the first round, he did actually. It was, I mean, yeah, he was I mean, he, like that, he was he, doing some good stuff in the first round. Some good ground and pound. Yeah. And I, I think I think he won that round. and He kind of wanted to settle in and coast it out. Yeah, and I think that's what killed him more than anything is him.